Hey guys, and welcome back to Basement Gamer, and welcome to our monthly PlayStation Plus roundup. Uh, obviously, things got a little thrown off with uh, releasing Last of Us Part Two episodes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you're mostly here for those, this is a special once a month episode that I do to just recap what we got for PlayStation Plus um, to coincide with my typical weekly PlayStation Plus roulette. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, get more content like this. Uh, but Friday, tomorrow, we'll be right back to Last of Us Part 2, Episode 9. Unbelievable. But alright, so for the month of July, for PlayStation Plus, we were given three free games, two, uh, and then plus a bonus one on top of that. Um, and those games are NBA 2K20, which we're in right now. And then back on my home screen, we've got uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and then Erica was the bonus game. Now, I had NBA 2K20 beforehand, um, so I'm not really going to jump in and play around in it. I'm just going to kind of give my thoughts on it, but do a quick dive into everything that you can do. So you have your classic card building um, collection game mode that every single sports game has. If you're familiar with Madden and FIFA, this is their ultimate team. Um, in MLB The Show, it's called Diamond Dynasty. Here it is called my team you basically get packs um, i haven't played this in forever uh, but you get packs you open the packs and inside the packs you have cards wow fascinating stuff look out that's a 69 overall nice um but yeah you build your team um you've got entire collection so if you're into like collecting um, it's a fun game mode, um, and you can collect everybody on the team. They then obviously update stuff, so here you've got guys um, kind of halfway through the season, their improvements and stuff like that, and new cards for them. Um, or if anybody got traded, they're now on their new teams. It's pretty neat how they do it. Um, all kinds of stuff. And then obviously, there are um, legends and and what have you. Oh my god, they added so much since the last time I played. This is actually crazy. It has been a really long time. All right, so within the game mode, like I said, you can build lineups. You can see that I've got these named after pretty much players, and that's because of this newer, um, as far as I can remember, uh, mechanic in the game where you can actually evolve the cards into better versions of them. Um, so, so you got all kinds of guys, and on the right, you've got the tasks you need to complete to get them to the next level. Uh, this is kind of a grinding mechanic that I actually really like. Uh, it gives purpose to building a team. Um, I don't know. I, I was a big fan of it while I was playing. And you don't have to play online to do it. I'm not a big fan of playing online against people because I suck. Um, so I like to just do challenges and uh, domination, stuff like that. So jump into, real quick, we'll go to triple threat first. So as you can see, I only have 71 wins, but uh, this is just a 3v3 game mode. You go against three computer players. They're randomly drawn, I believe. Um, and you take the three players you want to go against them. Stats in this count towards your players. I believe it's a game to 21. It's fast paced and you get these rewards when you win. So once I get 75 cumulative wins, I'll get a diamond consumable. But after each game, you have a chance of unlocking the vault and getting one of the uh, rewards that you see there. So a couple galaxy opals. Um, so pretty darn good players um, for your team. Next up, You've got Domination. Domination is a really cool mode as well. Um, basically, you just go against every single team. Um, if you, I forget what the uh, win conditions are, but if you get so many points in the game, um, you know, team points cumulatively, 
uh, not points scored, but like an assist will get you, will award you so many points. Um, a three pointer will award you so many points. A block, rebound, all that stuff. Um, they'll reward you in game points. If you get so many, um, you can get these stars. And then when you get all of them, you can see that there's like an overall domination. Um, player tied to getting every single star so i got through the current team domination i got through almost all of historic domination let me tell you this is historic dominations you're playing against the best of the best from those teams um the celtics lakers and bulls historically have some of the best teams in basketball so not very fun there and then you've got all-time domination i'm guessing That'll include uh, current players as well, potentially. Um, that's what it looks like. There's nobody current on that. That's, that's Kevin Love. Maybe he technically, I guess, can't be on the historic. You've got, yeah, there you go. you got, like, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant from when they were on the Thunder. So this is also going to be extremely, extremely difficult. If and when I ever get around to doing it. Probably won't. I fell off the wagon. And last but not least... They uh, added weekly challenges, and they've kept adding them even though the NBA season has been washed. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, to make sure that you're still updating the content of a game even outside of, or even with all these, like, uncertain circumstances and, you know, stuff that they could have never imagined would have actually happened that could easily throw them off their content schedule. They've actually done a really good job of um, continuously adding content. Um you got all these moments, and I believe the moments change. I want to say those are like weekly, maybe monthly. Um, and then you have these spotlight challenges uh, to get, you know, these like all time cards of uh, some of these players, some of these legends. So you got Wade, Garnett, Drexler, Dirk. Thomas, Howard, Iguodala, Kareem, Jason Kidd, Jeremy Lin. But then they also, and I believe this was right when the season kind of got hung, they added the Spotlight Sim um, for every single team. So there's a lot of like in-game rewards, again, that you don't even need to play on. Oh, and here you go. They also have a Spotlight Kobe Bryant. Um, so this was added after the unfortunate and untimely death of Kobe Bryant. They added Historic Spotlight. So, like I said, I put this game down probably back in April, maybe. Um, and they've added all this stuff. I mean, literally, all of this is new since I put the game down. So, um, they're definitely doing a good job of keeping up with it, which is really, really cool. Um, I think that does it for my team. Again, it's just your basic build a team after ripping packs. The worst part about it, in my opinion, is that the players have contracts. I believe it's like that in FIFA and Madden as well. I think that's really annoying and like gimmicky because then you have to buy contracts and waste your in-game currency um, instead of using that on packs or like on the, uh, on the market. But nonetheless, that's a mechanic. All right, heading over to the My Career so this is where you create your own player. Um, the app allows you to scan your face and make you look like Sid the Sloth. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is your typical career mode where you just are in control of you, yourself, and you. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty much what you would expect. There's somewhat of a story behind it, but then once you like, hit the big time, um, that kind of goes away. Uh, and then it's just a matter of balling out. Uh, you can see here, um, you know, if you hit certain levels of fans, it rewards you certain bonuses. Um, you can see there I am, looks just like me, blue hair and all. Um, depending on how you perform in the game, you get uh, VC, you can also get that through other game modes um, and then come back over here and use it in here. 
um, and that's how you upgrade your player. Uh, depending on what type of build you are, you can see that it gets capped. Like, my defensive rebounding can only go up to 75. My offensive rebounding is already maxed. Um, you can't just max out your player um, and make like a really unrealistic build, which is, it, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, in some circumstances, I wish they gave you a little more leeway to make yourself a little bit more, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, unstoppable, um, probably the best way to put it, uh, just because, you know, you're putting, putting in the effort, right? Um, you get endorsements and stuff like that, uh, that through those, it'll reward you with various, um, amounts of the VC. Uh, so here you can see that, um, if I do an event for beats, I automatically am given 6,000 VC. Uh, I am then also given one point, uh, one VC for every point I score three for every rebound I grab, and three for every assist I have. So in the game, you, again, just like in my team, every single thing you do rewards you in-game currency. Um, and these are just like little bonuses through endorsements that I have. Um, and you can see like with Beats, um, once I hit 600,000 fans, I'll actually have the chance to renegotiate and probably get more money for you know each event and potentially for... Um, the in-game stat boosts. Um, another thing that they have are these badges. So you can kind of choose which badge you want to put on you. This is another thing that I wish they would let you kind of go a little bit more crazy on. Um, eight potential upgrades means you can only grab eight bronze badges. I mean, there's 10, 15, 18 total. So you could grab eight of those and put them at bronze, or you can have two Hall of Fame or anything in between. Um, not a big fan of that. I kind of wish you had the opportunity to maybe get like, you know, you get to choose half of these to be bronze. Um, and then I guess like half of those can be silver. Half of the silver ones can be upgraded to gold and then half of that. So that would put you at like one on hall of fame level, probably what two on gold, um, three on silver and then four on um, bronze, uh, for each different thing. I think that would have been kind of cool, but that's what, what you're dealing with. So again, it's based off of your build, what you get, um, to upgrade badge wise. And like I said, attributes wise. Okay. The last thing that you can do is you can do the, my league mode, which lets you take control of the league and within here you can see that you have like i said where you take control of the league so um i have one of those i'll jump into it in a second you can go into my gm mode where you are a general manager uh again i think they try to do a bit of a story in here um they did in games past uh and then after like a season you actually have full control of the gm role um they mess around too much in that, um, that in my opinion, it makes it just more fun to do my league and just act as a general manager in that. Um, but that's kind of neither here nor there. Um, there's just so much more control in my league. Um, and then at the end of the season, there are like league votes on, you know, various rule changes and stuff like that. It's really, really neat. Obviously you've got my league online, so you can play with buddies or just against other random people and start up a league together. They added the WNBA teams, so you can do a WNBA season, you can do just a regular season, or you can just do the playoffs and just play that. Um, so a lot of these things are, like these three are really cool um, to see if you want to kind of sim out and see how the rest of the season would have gone, uh, if you want to do playoffs and watch what would have been the playoff matchups and see who uh, NBA 2K20 predicts to win, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, they definitely went a little more in-depth and added a lot of new features into this game from years past. It's a really, really in-depth sim. Um, it plays the most realistic of any single NBA game so far. Um, a lot of people were upset about it. It's hard to pick up at first, um, but it gives you definitely the most realistic results. 
Um, and it's a fun game. If you enjoy basketball, it's definitely for you. If you don't, it's not. And that's kind of just how any sports game is really going to go. Um, but yeah, if you even you don't even necessarily have to like playing basketball or even like watching it that much. If you just enjoy the sport enough, it's a fun game to play. And um, I definitely recommend it to pretty much anybody. Um, and the fact that you can pick it up for free. And as I said, there's all kinds of free content in here. Um, you don't have to spend extra money on it uh, to get more out of it. Uh, you certainly have the option, but again, you don't have to. So really, really well put together sports game. That being said, every year NBA games are going to be all but the same year in, year out. Um, so with that being said, if you pick up NBA 2K20 for free, you have uh, once the NBA season comes back around um, and you're like, wow, I'm in the mood to play some basketball. You can just pick up NBA 2K20 and play that and not go and pick up 2K21 because again, it'll most likely be the same. All right, game number two. So this was the second um, headliner, I guess is what we can call it. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. This game came out originally on the Xbox, um, Xbox One. And then after I think 11 months or a whole year, it then got uh, released on PS4. Um, no, I'm not giving you my email. Now I believe the entire game comes with everything, like all of the DLC and stuff that um, were released on um, Xbox when they when they released it on PlayStation. They released it all bundled together, so it was actually kind of make someone worse beyond the uh, wait. And, oh my God, they're talking to face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money's gonna get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. I feel like it's about to throw me right in there. almost there. Wait till you see this new Lara. Take my hand. So where the hell are my subtitles? Thanks. Look at that. It's amazing. But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. What, what a great... A great start to the game. Oh my god. I just want subtitles. Like, why, why would they ever think you don't want subtitles on? Um, so this is, a lot of people will say that, oh, like, Tomb Raider is like the, um, or Uncharted. I guess, because Tomb Raider technically came out way ahead of it, but Uncharted is basically Nathan Drake is the male Lara Croft. Um, so, a lot of people say that the games kind of rival each other. Um, I think it's a lot of same idea or same basic story concept, but I'm sure the gameplay is fairly different. I don't know, though. So, this is actually my first time playing a, a Tomb Raider game. Um, Oh boy. Lara, are you all 
Oh, well, it does have the, uh, the whole, uh, like the same, uh, little divots made into the walls and stuff. Maybe they are more alike than I thought. Uh, but when I saw this, this is a game that I'm going to pick up for quite some time, so I uh, definitely was excited when I saw that this was one of the uh, games being announced. Oh god. Oh god. That was janky. Oh Jesus. Uh, definitely just the fact that it, the two games that they gave, I think, are solid value. Um, NBA, obviously being a sports game, can be hit or miss for a lot of people. Um, but at the very least, it's a fairly well put together uh, sports game. Um, it's not a great give, uh, especially because the NBA season technically isn't over. But at this point in time, it, it should be or would be. Um, so the content updates and stuff aren't going to be there um, for much longer. Um, but you know, it's like middle of the road. It's a very, back. It's a passing grade, but Tomb Raider for sure. Um, probably a game that a lot of people have already picked up. I haven't already, so obviously that's bonus points for me. Um, but yeah, I think they did well to give uh, to give two fairly solid games. All right, let's see what's up there. I thought he was gonna push us. Feels pretty solid, but keep close to the walls. I'm saying he had a chance to kill us before. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. Would that not pull at him though? If I'm yank him? There's lots of loose ice up here. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. I'm not going slow after that. Look out! Oh shit! That was close. Okay, maybe I should go slow. The jumping feels like, um, I don't know if arcade is the right word, but, oh, the, the jumping just feels a lot weird. Really doesn't pull his way, huh? You got it. Yeah. Very superhuman esque in the jumps. And why are we trying so hard to be up there? Oh, that wouldn't feel good. I got you. I got you. Laura, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to pull you back up. Stop. That we fall. Over there. Oh, no. I'm going to swing. Swing me to the other side. Like I said, superhuman ass. We're not jumping. Never mind. Yo, we're gonna die. Two minutes into this game. We're about to beat the game. I 
know what I'm getting those points for. I don't know if those are like experience for um for like leveling up and stuff. I don't know if I can run any faster than this. I feel like I'm at doing a light jog, honestly. I feel like with the way we've jumped so far, I should definitely be running faster. That's just me though. Oh no, stay on. Oh god. Oh, you can sprint. Okay, I saw it. She couldn't have even... She can't even... Wait. You can't... What? You can't tell me she knew that she was going to break through a wall of ice like that and slide down. Run, Lara. Damn it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I feel like we barely dropped. Now it's gonna pop up 15 weeks earlier. Let's go. <laughs> Two weeks, but whatever. Pulling the old Uncharted 2 trick there. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay. Die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure? It'd be really funny if they would have gotten Nolan North to voice act in this. I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. Hmm. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. So I'm guessing he's dead. I don't know if this is like a reboot of Tomb Raider. Um, and if it like coincides with the movie that I think just came out, which was also a reboot. Bitch, there's somebody in here. But they were in here. They have all the information now. They know about Trinity. They know about your dad knowing about Trinity. Followed? Followed? Of course 
moth. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Are you kidding? Just found the tomb. We're gonna raid the it. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. That's the name of the game. Laura, tomb Raider. Uh, Shut up. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. She just said I love Richard. But he was a broken man. I don't it means I love you end up like him. Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. Tombs in Syria. Syria? Oh god, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the man. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined you. Something I I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it is. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the prophets too. in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Damn right it is. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. They paid better than you, and now they're shooting me. They weren't supposed to shoot at us! Get us out of here! Shit! Shit! No, no, no! Uh. Can you imagine being so fucking stupid? I can. That's gonna fuck with us. So she's concussed. We're third person. Why would that affect our vision? Makes no sense. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend oh shit, we just like fell into the tomb. That'd be pretty dope. That'd be fortunate. Pay some minor brain damage for a shortcut. Might be worth it. Yeah, so honestly, um, so far, obviously we haven't gotten into any combat yet, but this does feel kind of similar to Uncharted if you've played any of those. Um, in how, like, the climbing and, uh, just the movement and everything. And then on top of that, you're gonna get similar story beats as well. Um, I 
I, again, never played any of the old ones, um, so I can't tell you if they've always no, felt this way. Oh um, but it plays well so far. And I'm sure it's got, you know, an incredible story to it as well. Um, these games typically do. Uh, they've always been regarded as pretty good, and uh, that's why the movies tend to sometimes get a bad rap, is because they don't do the games justice, which is obviously good. Alright, let's see, can we pull up, like, the map? So this is more of a map. I wonder if this is going to have a bit of a, like, open world to it. Um, looking like, potentially. Um, hmm. So you got different types of missions, challenges, stuff like that. Let's see if we can get a little bit further. Alright, so that's a little bit when you have a survival instinct that'll like highlight stuff for you. Dad's notes mentioned this. Oh. Maybe a collectible of sorts. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I read it now what? Oh wait, is that what I was supposed to do? Seems to be a map of some sort, but I can't quite read the words. Alright, no, I can't hit it. Um Here we go. The prophet. Speaking with a foreign army. He convinced them to lay down their weapons. Very cool. These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Oh my god, and then you can, so you level up your, our Greek language knowledge. You can now translate level one Greek. Wow, that's cool. It's pointing to something hidden nearby. Alright, so now map is updated. I don't see what that updated, though. Just Syria in general? Hmm. Down the locations. He led his followers through the desert. I didn't see he anything. Was. It said coin cash was revealed. I didn't see any like marker or anything on the map. Hmm. But we're gonna break down this wall. Well, there's a hole in it. The secret entrance. Whoa. Very Assassin's Creed. It's amazing. If only Dad could have Papa. seen this. Jump to wall and X to scramble. Oh, shit. It's almost like a double jump up a wall. That's pretty neat. They kind of put like markings like to show you. Nobody heard that, or suspects the thing. Also, there goes our way back, so. Yeah, the jumping is definitely very, uh, very arcadey, in my opinion. Uh, you can kind of jump extremely far. 
Um, and it feels like you don't really drop that much, so... I mean, she's definitely better looking than Nathan Drake, at least, so... She's got, got that going for you in this game. Yo, F that. Let me tell you what job I could never do. Two trophies just like that. Are we the greatest the battle here. Tomb Raider players ever? Against religious pilgrims. That's a the huge Trinity. rat. Oh my god. Okay. The prophet Learn some extra Greek while we're here. Trinity. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are mm. building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is... So the Trinity has been around for a long time, it appears. Um, so again, that also is kind of... Uh, Similar to like Assassin's Creed, with the uh. Wow. Can't remember the name of the, the Templars. Damn it. That was too close. Oh my god, my controller shot. Made a gun sound out of it. They're blasting their way in. Oh. Got some puzzles for you. Excellent. And you get XP for literally everything. Like, oh, you naturally progressed the way you were supposed to. Congrats. Oh, God. Setting up these traps, they were really prepared. Oh god. Ugh. Ugh. No, thank you. Stunning. We made it, Dad. Well, no, Laura, he's not here. These games are always really good about like highlighting where you can go. Um, by just like putting like the extra wear and tear on the area and such. Um, oh. I can always really appreciate that. Damn. Oh. They're almost inside. How'd she know? Um, where do I need to go? This way. Yes. 
Excellent. Now for another trap. Oh, fuck. How's this time gonna knock us in? Yeah, so I guess I gotta go up. Ah. Over here. I was trying to, I was trying to jump from the big ends to just right there, but okay. There we go. Okay. Here come the bad guys. It's always great because you work so hard to get to this point. Oh. Empty. Or that. You work so hard to get to like the point and then like the bad guys just always blast their way in and get there before you or like right as you get there and you're like, I just went the long way around. We start hiding in it. Do you think we went inside it? Open it carefully. Could be extremely dangerous. Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Hmm. It was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Already missing my shots. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't worry about running. Maybe we should just worry about. Or maybe we shouldn't worry about shooting. We should just worry about running. That also happens to me all the time. I have that moment. I'm like, I should probably shoot this guy. And then it's like, oh no, I should just run. Oh my god, they didn't have to make it so mean. Like, hey. I get it, I fucked up. Ugh, oh, I had to get some coffee. I don't think I had to jump there. I gotta stop jumping there. That's my issue. No, 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 no. Big jump. Oh, I didn't mean to jump there. <laughs> Alright, yeah, the jumping is a little wonky, but overall, this 
plays great. Um, at this point, it's probably two, three years old. I'm trying to think of when it came out. I can't remember if it came out in 2015 on the Xbox and then 2016 on the PlayStation, or if it was 2016 and then 2017. But either way, plays great. Looks great, honestly. Um, And I'm guessing it'll have an incredible story to it as well. Potentially something that we'll play later. But for now, that'll do it for uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And we can take a look. Um, there are 125 trophies in this game. That's... Wow. A lot. Um, you can even get a better read on it. Go in here because some of them are, again... Um, multiplayer or uh, not multiplayer uh, DLC related but still base game got a ton maybe a game I will also platinum who knows but that does it so now last but not least on to our bonus game Erica now probably won't be playing this one too much I believe that this is uh, very much just like a visual novel um you don't do there's not a ton of gameplay i think it's a lot of decision making so yeah we'll uh we'll mess around with it a little bit just kind of get a general idea of what it is and what it's about um and then we'll wrap it up and i'll provide my uh oh wait i have to get the app or oh i can Oh wait, do I have to? Alright, uh, pause the game by tapping in the... Oh my god, this is awesome. Your choices form one of many perspectives. No single path holds all the answers. Okay, so it's a, you know, decision making and you can go back and make different decisions and get different endings. Yeah, there we go. I'm doing that on my phone. together I need, I need Delphi House. The fucking subtitles for everything I'm deaf she was a nurse I was a doctor at night we tell each other stories she tell me about the future wonderful things things only she could see I tell her about the past, about a great priestess, marked with a butterfly, who could stare into the fire and see the future. I used to tell her she was magic, just like the priestess. I think you're magic too, but you're going to have to prove it. Why are you so sweaty? Pick a photograph, pick your favorite. No. That one. Hmm. Kinda creepy. I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it anymore. I don't like it anymore. No. Close your eyes. It seems to be too Focus spooky your mind. for me. And conjure 
power of the ancient priestess. Now find your home again. See if you can guess where your favorite is. Oh, disaster. Fuck you. Don't worry. I still think you're magic. She'll always be with you. Oh, could have I like turned it slightly? Even though she isn't here. She's still a part of you. I'm stupid. If you could stare into the fire and see the future, what do you think you'd see? Yeah. Seems very calm for looking at her dead father. Seems very calm for looking at her dead father. She's still very calm. Just a dream. Ellie? It's not Ellie. Um, oh God. So this is, I mean, it's literally a movie. It's pretty nuts. It's not, um, it's pretty janky having to play it like on your phone, but it's still a pretty neat concept. Do you think it would have been different if we would have chosen another one? Probably. Whoa. Really, just having me do it all. So here, you can maybe see, I don't know if it'll come up on my phone, but it like gives you like the two paths that you can like go and slide your finger. Fascinating. I think it actually is kind of crappy in a sense because it'd be better if 
there weren't just these unnecessary stops, you know what I mean? Um, and like they are, the stops last an extra amount of time because I'm too stupid to figure out how I need to slide my finger. I think that's kind of the issue. So I'm guessing the entire thing is gonna be trying to figure out who killed our dad, maybe? Oh, that's good. That was good. What's in the box? Shelby's heart? Ooh, no, it was a hand. All right, that's gonna do it for Erica. Um, pretty neat, honestly, um, and probably a fun night adventure um, for you to do for free. So overall, how did uh, Sony deliver this month for PlayStation Plus? I would say MBA, again, I'd give it a passing grade. That probably gets like a C for me, um, especially because it's so hit or miss on whether or not somebody is, uh, one, even a sports fan, and then two, on top of that, basketball fan um and then it's at the end of the life cycle of the game we're getting there so um obviously all the content's there and you can still get a ton out of it but i'll give that a c um rise of the tomb raider seems like a really solid game and for anybody who doesn't have it i think that's a huge win um i think that uh being kind of as big of a game as it is um it seems like there's like some open world mechanic to it um that probably gets an A, maybe an A minus. Um, so the two games combined, it's gonna be like a solid B, but then the fact that they threw in a little bonus, I'm gonna bump it up to a B plus. You get a third game. Um, it's a little janky, like I said, um, but it was free. Uh, you can kind of mess around with it. I'm guessing the story is pretty neat and I'm sure it's like a fun ride. Um, and right when you get a box with a mysterious hand in it, you'll take an extra 20 seconds to open the box. Whereas if you were watching the movie, she'd open it right away. So you have all the control in the world, uh, over that in Erica. Um, but overall, this was a solid month. And the fact that alone they gave a third game, um, I think this is now the second time since COVID and the quarantine that they've gone and given extra games the one month they did it, uh, by giving the Uncharted Collection and Journey. Um, those weren't through specifically PlayStation Plus. Um, that was just if you're a PlayStation um, or a PS4 owner in general, but regardless, um, some kind of good faith there. You gotta love it. Um, so that does it. B plus for the month of July. This has been, I think our best month yet, but I don't know. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, I think I'll add that to the list for PlayStation Plus Roulette. If you want me to add Erica, let me know down in the comments below. Um, definitely not going to add NBA, so for now, potentially Rise of the Tomb Raider. That does it for this monthly recap. Solid month from Sony, a solid month for PlayStation Plus. Tomorrow is episode 9 of The Last of Us Part 2, and then don't forget, once The Last of Us Part 2 is done... We're on to Metal Gear Solid. That, that'll be the next game we play for PlayStation Plus Roulette. So the first Wednesday after we're done with The Last of Us Part 2. We'll probably get an August PlayStation Plus lineup uh, before we're done with that game as well. So be on the lookout for that. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like. Let me know what you think of this month's lineup. Um, have you played any of these games already? Uh, have you played none of them? If so, good month for you to get three free games. That does it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Last of Us Episode 9.